to use Retropit properly, we need to create an interface. What are API endpoints? How to recognize base URL and API endpoints? Here, I have opened groupkt.com. This site provides different free web services, including a very popular API to get a list of all countries in the world. Look at this URL. This is the URL to get the list of country details. Here, this part is the base URL. This part is the endpoint. Here is an another URL example. This front main part is the base URL. Here, you can see another example. You may already recognize that the base URL does not change. Only the endpoints change. Usually, the base URL remains unchanged for a one REST API. During a previous lesson, when we are creating the Retropit instance, we discussed about adding the base URL. Base URL is a constant value. We keep it with the Retropit instance. We define all other endpoints on the interface with their relevant HTTP methods. Look at this example. At get annotation of the abstract method get results indicates the URL endpoint and the HTTP method we are going to use. You can see this interface has three abstract methods. Two of them use get method and one of them use post. You can see there is a strange string type called call and there are other annotations like path and query. We will talk about them very soon during other lessons of this chapter. Alright, that's all for this lesson. See you soon with the next lesson.